YouTube, what's happening? It's your guy Hitch. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I know it's the holiday season, so if you're out there blowing your budgets, I'm hoping that this video helps you save some money. My favorite rapping basketball player dropped his sixth signature shoe, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, it is not Shaq. It is the guy from Oakland, Dame Dollar, with the Dame Six. These released on Black Friday. So the box is pretty simple. It's split down the middle, half black, half white. It has Dame's logo and Dame Six printed all over it. And ironically enough, the sneaker is designed the same exact way. And from what I've read, it it's supposed to show Dame's two different personalities, him being on court and then him being off the court. This is the first release of the Dame 6, and this colorway is dubbed the Ruthless Colorway. Dame's first five signatures were more on the five-sevenths cut, which is like in between a low and a mid. This is his first sneaker that's really officially a low-cut shoe, which I really do like. The sneaker is made up of mostly a variety of different meshes. The first mesh is textile and lightweight, and on the lateral side, the sneaker is black. On the medial side, it has two layers of mesh, which is shock red and green. That same two-tone design also can be seen on the tongue. On both your lateral and medial sides of the shoe, you're gonna have three web layers of mesh that makes up your lace loops. On your medial side, the lace loops are in shock red. On your medial side, the lace loops are in black. And this is not a performance review at all, but when I did lace the shoes up tightly at one point with the flat black laces and volt tips, it did feel like it has decent lockdown. On your lateral side, you do have a thin, see-through layer of mesh and on top of that you also have a felt material that feels like it connects everything onto the upper and on top of that the adidas three stripes that feels like it's pressed on with felt material also on that lateral side you do actually have 3m where your three stripes are as well as parts of your lace loops which i do love because i'm a fan of 3m but there's just a lot going on with all of these layers of mesh this felt material actually connects into the plastic lace loop on that lace loop you have your adidas three stripes and then some random vertical lines and shock red again it's very busy there's also a random island of felt material on your toe box with a couple uh, circles in it. It's a very busy design. I really can't make sense of it. The Dame 6 has a sock-like feel, which I really do like. It started out as a booty design, but then the tongue halfway through is detached. At the top of the tongue, you have those random vertical stripes on both sides, but on one side, you have the see-through mesh and felt material with the Adidas branding on top of it. The shoes are easy to put on, which I really do like with it having the detached tongue. And the lining has that same split design where it's half shock red and the other half is black. Down at the bottom, your insole is going to be shock red with the Adidas Volt branding printed onto it. Sticking with the split color theme, that continues in the light strike cushioning midsole where the lateral side is black and then your medial side is going to be white with Ruthless printed onto it in black. And again, no performance review here, but I wore these for a day and the light strike cushioning did feel pretty good. It felt light and bouncy. And then Adidas finished off the outsole being split as well, where you have it being part black and then part translucent. So the great news is the Dame 6 is $110 retail, which is great for any basketball signature shoe. They're actually cheaper than the Dame 5, which I hated that shoe, the shoe sucked. Not only are they $110 retail, but when I picked these up on Black Friday, the store was running a 40% sale off the entire store. And if you had the Adidas app and were a member, you saved an additional 10%. So I saved the total 50% off and got these for $59.40. Personally, I wanted to be able to wear these casually, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off, man. These are too busy. Like something is a little bit off with the design. It's just so much going on. Or maybe it's the colorway. I don't think I can get these off casually with the colorway. So I do plan on taking these to the gym and hooping in them. As far as sizing goes, these are snug. I went true to size. These are eight and a half, but I don't know if I'd recommend that for everyone. I personally like wearing my sneakers a little bit more snug than I do loosely. So I would recommend if you have a wide foot like I do, maybe go 
up a half size but at the end of the day the best thing to do is try them on they didn't sell out so you should be able to, to go into your local store and try them on but also they're comfortable and they break in relatively fastly I did not wear these on a basketball court. I wore them grocery shopping. And within like two hours, they were broken in for me. And that tightness and that midfoot area was darn near completely gone. So they're definitely a comfortable shoe. I do like them. However, I don't. I can't do these casually. I'm gonna have to look for some other colorways to try to get these off casually. So on a scale of one to five, I'm giving these a two casually on the court. I'd say there are three. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know what you think about them. Again, check Adidas website for the sale. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm dropping new videos, and I'm out.